After months away, we're back with the Keating 5-4 and ramping up for a new mystery. The first episode of season 4 jumps into some of the questions left open last season, but they're not necessarily the ones you're expecting. We spend far more time exploring whether or not Connor will accept Oliver's proposal and what Annalise is going to do about her mother's dementia than we do on the biggest issues of the season 3 finale, what did Annalise mean when she called Wes her son? And why did Laurel's dad killed Wes? Laurel meets her father on campus, probing him about Dominic and asking why he lied to her about why the hitman was in New York. She can't bring herself to ask about Wes. Instead, she tells dear old dad that she was pregnant, but that she got an abortion. He naturally assumes it was Frank's, and Laurel does nothing to dispel this notion. Before they go, he insists that they take a photo together on campus, which feels weird and not at all like a natural fatherly sentiment. This is Laurel's dad, after all. Laurel then goes to meet Annalise, Bonnie, and the Keating Four at a restaurant, per Annalise's request. They each have envelopes on their plate, but Annalise insists they can't open them until after dinner. More on that later, because first we have to flash back to one week earlier and get caught up on what everyone's been up to in the meantime. The majority of I'm Going Away focuses on Annalise's trip to Memphis to visit her mother, who, as Annalise learned in prison, is suffering from dementia. Annalise gets hit on by a guy, Desmond, on the plane, and he writes his number on a napkin, she tells him her name is Bonnie.